just my focus right now. And, um, you know, obviously I, I know there's a lot surrounding you. You hear all the Justin chants out here and everything, but uh, right now it's my time. I think the bottom line is you got to be unapologetic. You know, unapologetic. You're just going for it. Um, at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's tough to breathe sometimes when you're high, at high altitude. Uh, I'm really, really excited about my room. Uh, we have tons of speed in there, tons of guys who can make, you know, a lot of plays. And uh, I'm just excited, just, you know, for the world and for the football world to see the rest of the guys we do have and, you know, watch them, you know, explode into the you know, football world with the plays they can make. I can't wait to see Calvin Ridley or Kyle Pitts. I mean, this could be one of those explosive plays. Ridley's talking about rookie tight end Kyle Pitts making his presence known early. Impressive, Nate? Yeah, going up and getting it, high pointing the ball in the red zone. And this is where you're supposed to go up and get it if you're Kyle Pitts. And then just keeping your eye on the rock like the Julian Juggle we love so much from the mm. Super Bowl they won. I love it. Let's stick with this division, guys. The <laughs> NFC South. And let's go ahead and leave the loaded... Buccaneers out of the discussion. Is there an NFC South team that you think can exceed and will exceed expectations this season, KB? You better believe there is. I'm going to look at the quarterbacks. Darnold, can't get there yet. Jameis, I love you. I can't get there. I'm going to Matt Ryan. I'm, I'm going to the Falcons. And I know it's not sexy and doesn't blow up the world if you endorse the Falcons, but I have a feeling about it. First of all, it's just he's by far the second best quarterback in the division, by far. Um, Calvin Ridley was like, I had no idea how good he was last year. He was good, but he was always the other guy with Julio. And Kyle Pitts may be a superstar. The other thing is like, um, so you have Arthur Smith coming in. And I was like, who's running the offense down there for the Falcons? It's a really strange choice. Dave Ragone. Dave Ragone, you might remember the Louisville quarterback. quarterback. And Nate, I know why you remember him. This is interesting. He was drafted in the third round of the 03 draft. Yep. That's exactly, he was about 15 picks behind you. Yep. And you might say, well, that's a great gig for him. Where does he come from? Comes from the Bears, where he was running their quarterback room, and he was kind of like the Trubisky coach, which is not necessarily a stellar resume bullet, but Arthur Smith brings him in. And I just think for this Falcons thing to happen, Ryan's got to be, because the defense is, is not pretty. It really isn't. Like, it's not a lot to get super excited about, at least not right now. Pitts has got to be a superstar. Ridley's got to be a superstar. And Ryan's got to prove that, like, hey, I'm an MVP. I think that's the case. Falcons take it. I'm going with the Saints. You said you can't get there yet with Jason. Okay, uh, Nate. Jason Winston. I can. I'm excited. And maybe I'm overly optimistic, but I just feel like all these things are pointing to, yes, this offense is going to be very explosive, even more so with Jameis than it was with Drew Brees. You know, you're pointing to all these reasons why the Falcons might be good. Uh. Let me just specifically stay on Jameis for a second. Okay, over the course of his career, the first five years, he is second and pass yards. All right, so just right out the gate, we know he can throw the rock down the field, okay? That, that doesn't surprise anybody. My dude nope. threw for 5,000 yards once. Okay, that was a couple of years ago, but we know he can throw it down the field. Why is that important? Because they need to get the ball downfield. They struggle with getting those shots to those playmakers. And you're saying, well, Michael Thomas isn't there. He's uh -huh. going to be banged nope. up for a little while. Michael Thomas really isn't a take-the-top-off-the-coverage guy. He got his thumb fixed, got his eyes fixed. Jameis Winston has set back and learned from a bird's-eye view about the game from Drew Brees and Sean Payton. I feel like he's going to be a better quarterback. He's going to be more selective, mm. had discernment with the ball. Jameis is going to shock a ton of people this year. Throw Nate, it's I really honestly fun. believe that. Do you really who? believe? I really believe, believe it. I really believe it. Who? You know why I believe that? Because this is the last run for Jameis. This is it. Uh -huh. This is the, the last moment you get to prove you are a legitimate starter in this league. And if you haven't learned anything, you've learned that I don't need to do it all. And Jameis has said this out of his own mouth. What, he hasn't said He didn't say this before in Tampa. But he has said this over the last couple of seasons. Uh -huh. You know what? I realize I don't need to throw the game away and force the ball downfield. I can go through my progressions and dump it off to Alvin Kamara. He has good. literally the best running back to go through his progressions and say, ah, I ain't got it. Mm. Let's get rid of the rock to the running back. Jameis Winston might shock you in the sense that he'll be one of the best quarterbacks completion percentage and taking care of the rock from TD to interception ratio. Mark my words. Peter, Mark, Adam, best, Adam Troutman? One of the best quarterbacks Traquan statistically. Smith, I'm a little one of the nervous. best quarterbacks statistically. to say he's going to throw for a lot of yards, but to say completion percentage interceptions with his – I, you understand where that comes off as against the history. Yeah, of the he season. had the 30 and 30 season. I get it. There's a ton of people that are watching right now saying, Nate, you sound ridiculous. Here's another hot take. 
but I truly do believe it. I just believe the fact that he's learned more than we give him credit for over the last year. Mm -hmm. You learn more sitting out of the game mm -hmm. than you do playing it sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I was in Arizona this week for some stuff with Fox, and yeah. I got to speak with Jonathan Vilma, Saints legendary linebacker. And I talked to Vilma, and I'm like, all right, what do you think about mm -hmm. this team? And he said, here's the deal with Sean Payton. Everyone thinks that he's in the, the lab drawing up all these crazy plays, and he's trying to build his offense. No, he builds it around the talent on the field. So if we think that they're going to just come out there and roll the ball out and be like, all right, go run Drew Brees' offense. Like, right. That's not what it's going to be. They're going to cater to Jameis. They're going to cater to Taysom. Mm -hmm. And unlike the other seasons where Brees goes down with an injury and on the fly, it's like, all right, we got to build it for Teddy Bridgewater. We got it's that all off season. So mm -hmm. Sean Payton is not a lazy man. Sean Payton is not a person who just runs out and says, here's my offense. He's building an entirely new offense to cater to Jameis, yep. to cater to Taysom. And I don't know what that implies, but I'm going to go with the Saints as well. Okay, I, strengths. I just don't think with that home field advantage that they have every mm -hmm. eight Sundays out of the year, and then also when you bring in the fact that Sean Payton in a really good veteran locker room still remains, mm. I know there's questions about receiver, and I know it's questions without Breeze, but I just don't see the Saints falling apart being 4-12 and 12, mm. or 4-13. and 13 mm -hmm. There's tons of credit you guys are giving Sean Payton because Jameis had all his yards and all his interceptions under Bruce Arians. You guys are really – how much of that is tied to Sean Payton, what you're saying? Because you didn't even bring him up. Triggs is talking about him a lot. But Sean Payton? Yeah. Yeah. Like, is, is I, I said he's able to learn from Drew Brees and Sean Payton from a bird's eye view. That's going to make him a smarter football player. I like this face you're making over here. What's going on over here? It's, it all sounds great. And I agree with you. And he sits and learns and Payton. And it's just like it's when Jameis drops back, is does the, the brain synapses start firing? Are, does he really change? Yeah. Because we need a massive, not picture, a little one, a massive one. Picture, I know it's without Brees, but can you picture a Saints team like, being seven and eight? Yeah. I, yeah? I can. Yeah. You can. I mean, the, their quarterback is, has never been to the playoffs and threw 30 interceptions. So, like, that's a big deal, you know? I, I can. And their best receiver is, yeah. like, on planet Mars Michael for some Thomas reason. So, I don't know. <laughs> bums me out. Doesn't that bum you out? Yeah, like, major league. But. Saints, I mean, uh, Kay, what do you think? I called I'm, you Saints I'm, for a second. <laughs> it's, I'm, still, it's I'm still working my way. I'm working my way through it. I have a, a lot of faith in Coach Payton. Uh, I really am bummed out by the Michael Thomas thing. I think Alvin Kamara is going to have to be their best receiver on the field because he, in fact, is. Are Trapped. they a playoff team? Getting You've been ride or die for them. You're talking about. I asked you a question of who who he's going to hit downfield, outside of just handing it off or giving you know a screen game, whatever to. Alvin Kamara, I don't know who that person is. That person through training camp has to emerge for me, and that's what I'm waiting for. Trey playoffs, Hendrickson leaving. Playoffs or not. It's too early. I'll tell you this. Come on. Well, I think we'll have to make our division picks here in a bit. I do like what the Panthers have going on. Huge quarterback question. Sam Darnold, feisty young defense. I like them a lot. DJ Moore a lot. I'll talk about the Panthers a little more from a fantasy perspective. Mm -hmm. Christian McCaffrey at full strength all year. Mm. Hard to look past that mm -hmm. in this division. I don't know. I love that.